Hi, this is a quick video reviewing on three of my uh, hockey gloves. Uh, I will not say which one is best because they all are great in in certain ways. Uh, first is the Eastern. I remember this is a 55S steel. This one uh, is cheap. You probably can get with like 20 to 40 dollar, depends on where you buy, and then you can have one. Uh, this one, the free movement is that the, the internal part. This piece is free move because the left, the both side is with, uh, linked with elastic band. I'm not sure if you can see it. black elastic bands. So when you wear it, just like regular uh, gloves, you will not have any restriction if you need to move inward. And this one is um, make it very well three sections on the index finger, so you have very good movement by your thumb because this is not high end; it's only 55 s. On top of this one, I think you still have 65, 75, 85, and then RS. So this is still considered low end, but still good enough if you don't consider to spend too much money. This one, the padding are also well de designed. The only thing I will um, com complain a little bit, not really something that worthy to complain, but just I feel this patty, this part, is a little bit too, too I want to say too tight, because I can feel my my bones, my, my joints, kind of push, pushing against it when I try to form a, a fist. But, other, but it's not really something worthy for complaint. But just to let you know, you may feel a little bit, oh, I'm against something. So again, when you are holding a stick, the three section movement, sorry, came out. The three section help you to really hold the stick very well. And uh, clothing, sorry, the palm clothing, they use additional. Uh, clothes, which which I would say very good because um, I'm using left uh, left hand sticks, so this part normally is high wear part. I use this one practice for, and also in for two games or two or three games, uh, not not much worn out situation, and also all the fingers other than the color was kind of dark because of tape, otherwise nothing nothing is really getting into trouble. And uh, one the um, one downside is that um, this glove is actually comfortable. The only thing is that uh, for the ventilation part, even though it still has the ventilation design, I just not well not not good enough. The internal has a uh, the wet, wet absorbing pad and it was stable with a velcro inside the glove but when I, when I was wearing this hot glove and for two or three games all I feel is that um, it's kind of too warm it's like all the heat was staying inside and the sweat is maybe get out a little bit but not really getting out a lot so for cheap glove, I would say it's okay because it also has holes on here, so it actually still has a little bit of ventilation around your fingers. Like each finger, you have four holes. Each finger has a four holes, and also it was blowing air. The both side of your fingers part, these are vent vented closely. If you blow the air. You can feel the air is blowing inside. So ventilation is not too bad, but just kind of you are wearing a sponge, and then the heat was kind of a little bit stuck inside. So this one cheap but very good. Eastern 55s. Okay, now the next one is Warrior Project Hockey 2011 model. 
I didn't get 2012 model because 2012 right now is still high price, still $130. This one I can get less than $90 or less than $70, I forgot. And so, and, and plus, when I check online, 2012 is nothing really different from 2012. They both use bones, uh, X bone system. Well, I shouldn't say X, it's a bone system. It just the look is a bit different. 2012 make it more big chunks instead, and 2011 is more like how your bones is. So this actually looks like your hand, your palms, but without flash. Okay, so for the this overall design, the Eastern 55S is. The 55S is designed as you can see on the index finger is three section all the other three fingers are two section this warrior both index and the mi middle fingers they both are six sections the last two are two sections and uh, the, about the palms it has smart palm I'm not sure how smart it is because for just I think I only use it for one game or mainly on practice like two times of practice probably the wear, the warm part is kind of more severe than the eastern one which, which this close is actually higher end so I have no idea how smart it is and uh, the vent the ventilation siding is not bad, but let me see because I have not wear this one for probably two or three weeks. Now this this part is also heat ventilation all around the fingers, but there is no holes on on the finger part. Sorry, let me see. There is no holes on the finger part like Eastern do. The all this the similar part is uh, you get heat ventilation around your fingers and also here and uh, for your uh, inner side of your arm it's also free movement connect with one side uh, elastic band compared to the 55S with two sides but a small piece is a big piece so it actually gives you even much more free movement and um, for the protection part, this one is the, the reason I got this one instead of a new one is I don't remember seeing this part in on the on the 2012 model. On 2011 model, you will see here is one piece, second piece, and third piece. Third piece, but overlapping together. So when you are move, moving, it doesn't really restrict a lot, but indeed, I can. Well, actually, you don't need angle more than this. You don't need angle more than this. So it's like holding your arms. And when if somebody is slashing you, you have pretty much two layers protection. Two layers protection. This padding, the the middle part is much thicker and the kind of head have a thin plastic on the outside. And the other two sides are a little bit thinner, so that they can form together as one 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 piece is with same height, but actually free, free movement. And also, this part is also very good protection. And I believe you can see there is another person's video on YouTube about they actually use the hockey shaft knocking on the on the shaft. You really feel nothing. Right now, I'm trying to cut my my arm, my sorry, my hands. I feel pain here, but I feel nothing here. Really, I feel nothing. And about the finger, I don't think this is something like free movement. Here is saying the hyper protective thumb. Yeah, I, I'm not think. I don't think it also has some kind of free movement. But after all, this part doesn't need to move because this the thumb, 
the thumb is the part actually you, you need to worry about. Okay, and um, I haven't used this one in too many games, so about the movement, just by the experience of practicing, it's good, really good. And the internal heat ventilation and the heat re removing padding is like this bit. It doesn't have the Velcro like Eastern to stick stable it. So when you take it off your hands, you probably will grab this padding away too. But this padding, um, I believe it functions as well as to the top model. Because I think all that change is the color of the pattern. Oh, sorry, the design of the pattern and also the shape. But everything, the technology is still the same. So you, you can either get the 2011 model and still get almost the same protection as 2012. But I will see if I can get 2012 when it is on discount price. Okay, and the next one is the Sherwood Nixon N12. This one I will say um, for comfortable and uh, what I think a glove that I want. When I play hockey, this one pretty much contains all of that, even better than the Warrior. Why I say that? Um, first, the cool technology that you can see. Uh, how cool it is. Um, yesterday, I was using this one in my hockey game, and after I play, it feels like a little bit warm and a bit wet inside. And when I took out my hands, all dry like this, dry like this. I would say pretty much feels like a uh, hockey, uh, sorry, or Supreme Total One. You feel kind of warm inside and a little bit like wet heat, but when you took out your hands, all dry. The glove took all, took away all the wet and everything that was kind of on your hands. Okay, and for the design, uh, this glove used a lot of good clothing and the leathers that I, I like. It's nylon clothing and uh, leathers, and this one I'm not sure how to describe it, but it's like smooth, shining clothes make this glove really good high-end quality and also um, why I say this one is better is that uh, normally as a hockey player sorry, got something on here. Um, when my lower hands sometimes like when I found not found, when I was trying to catch the puck I would use one hand to get a puck then I need to move my lower hand to stable stick. In that situation, sometimes I need to open my ha hands a little bit more in order to get the, pop the stick in freely without any problem. I previously got some situation on the other gloves that I tried to get my hands, the lower hands, onto the stick and then the stick was actually blocked because of padding. But this one, it actually was designed to this angle but if you want you can stretch a little bit without feeling too much resistance while on the other gloves you feel a little bit more resistant it doesn't mean you cannot stretch out it just means uh, this one has more room but maybe it is also because it's a 14 inch compared to the others are 13 inch so this has a, a little bit more because it's bigger size and probably a little bit more room uh, just let you know, I feel this one is really good. And the other w reason why one this why I choose this one, actually, be honest, in the beginning, I totally dislike this girl. Not because of brand, because of shape, ugly. And I, I don't feel sorry to to say it in front of it. Not because I want to install this glove, not because I want to install the company. It's just a design I don't like. But after I wear it, I love this one a lot. I don't care what it was designed for. I mean, the design. 
I, I really don't care about the design because I love this globe a lot. And um, the L2 system, I forgot what is that for. Maybe above, remove your thumb, which is okay because again, you actually you move your thumb inside, not the, the whole thing. And uh, the best. The best part that I love this globe is because I purchased this one because of all the uh, friction enhancing things and also the close use on the palms. This part is first layer, the second layer, and third layer, and also a rubber piece. I love this globe really, really much. So, and also free movement on the side of your arm. Like this side, even though it does not, like the others, has the um, elastic to make a free movement, but you have, you, if you move this way, they, they make this part is free movement. So you basically you have this big empty space to, to move your hands. Yesterday when I was in, and you s and when you are holding like this way, it it is comfortably to um, to hold on to your arm. I'm not sh too sure what is the best word you can use to, to describe the feeling, but I really want to say, until this glow has all the features that I want and the feelings. The only thing I was. Uh, oh, it's not judgment, it's just because I purchased one, uh, one inch bigger, so I feel a little bit loose. And probably because of that, I have more movement. But even though that, this is the best glove I, uh, I ever had. And uh, I have not tried the Bauer Supreme Total One glove, so maybe that one is excellent too. And so does uh, Rebox. So if people who have video on those, uh, maybe you can go check and how they feel and then consider which one you want. They, again, they all are great. They all design their, in their best way to perform the technology to the users. It just depends on which brand you prefer. One thing I want to say, this one is again, only Findex is three section. All the other three fingers are two sections. So if you want better, better stick control, you this one actually, even though it is two section, I don't really feel much restricted because I'm not sure if you can see. This padding is curved. It actually already designed us to move inward like this. And plus the stretch sorry. Around the finger, these clothing are stretchable. So you don't need to worry too, too much. Compared to the warrior, I can have two fingers better control the stick, or one finger better control. Depends on you, but they both are great in every which way. Depends on what was the main concept the company was making. Okay, thank you very much. And if you have any questions that I didn't explain in this video, please give a uh, right message to me and I will see if I can explain in a better way. Okay, thank you. Bye.